Welcome back, Psy Cadets. We're jumping right into the battle today. And we have Mr. I'm gonna shoot at you. Running away from me. Now, I never could quite figure out what was up with these glowing disc things. Maybe maybe Sasha went through a phase where he was a, a disco dancer, if you will. I don't think that's what it is, but a man can dream. A man can dream. But, gotta make our way up here and knock out the first sensor block. Which, this level is fairly simple. There are some parts of this section that we can't quite get to yet. And actually, Sasha's mine is the first mine we come to where we can't get nearly 100%, if you will. Whereas with the coach's mind, the only things we really couldn't get were the cobwebs. Here, there are a lot of figments we can't reach yet. So we'll be making a return here. As you see, 27 out of 69, that's not too bad. But we definitely won't be reaching near enough. So let's blast this guy out of the water, or out of the mind, if you will. Take his pre- oh, never mind. I was gonna take his precious, precious, life-giving mana. Knock the first one out. All right. You know, common sense would have dictated I just move along the platforms, but I like to get everything before I start playing. Yep. As you see, we can't reach that point yet. So we'll have to wait till we can get a uh, a better type of jump. I don't want to spoil it for you uninitiated players, but we'll be back. So let's hop across here and finish this area of his mind with a nice side blast. Alright, we got a new area, and shoes. Yeah, yeah, it's all about the shoes. And we come up to a new mental enemy, if you will. These guys, these guys, how many got? Uh, yeah, we're not doing too good. We're not doing too bad, either. These guys, these are, yeah, they explode painfully. And they are actually, in fact, one of my most hated enemies of this game because if you're not careful they will spam you they will kill you and they will do it while they're laughing at you i always call i always call them baby boomers because if you listen to them they sound like they're going to explode well of course they're going to explode but they sound like babies crying so the trick is, a lot of times, I like to lead a large amount of them together and then blow them up. But, actually, I did not know you could come up this side. Ah, you know what? This must be his dad's workshop, because I think his dad's a shoemaker. So, nine shoes. No shoes, please. Alright, let's try to get over there. I think I just took the hard way up here, but... Blow him up, and they will get to you. These little baby boomers will get to you no matter where you go. There we go. And the trick sometimes you want to do is get a bunch of them together and get one to explode. That'll usually cure you of your baby boomer infestation. But let's get this guy real quick. Now, as you're noticing, there are still a lot of figments along the tape measure, for instance, that I can't quite get to yet. All the way up there, mostly. And I mean, I, I know I've mentioned it before, but just to show that I like the fact that the game doesn't allow you to collect everything right at the very start. It makes you actually work for it. Come back afterwards. I always like that. So, I think enough fooling around. Let's go ahead and blow this thing up. Ooh. Ooh, I forgot there was figments down here. 
Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oof. Now, you have to be careful coming up this ladder because a lot of times they like spawning them. Yeah, sometimes you'll get hit right there. Not much you can do. <laughs> Hope for the best, really. Or go up the back way like I did. That somehow worked. But let's hop on over here. Climb this stack of shoes and blow it up. Welcome to the last area of Nine's Mine. And I don't really, I've never really understood where this comes from. You know, I can understand the bed, you know, his childhood. I can, I guess, understand the disco. I, I don't know the disco, yeah, I guess. I definitely can understand his father's shoe shop. But this, this just looks like industrial I don't know. It just makes no sense. It never has. Now, saying this, someone in the comments will be like, well, obviously it's this. And I'll feel like a total boob and... Well, that'll be that. But at least I'll know. So, there's not a lot you can do around here. Just can't really collect any. I'm already at maximum lives. Pick this guy up. And I think I'm missing... I'm missing the hat. The hat box. He must be in one of the other levels further up that I can't get to quite yet. Other, I just like completely missed him. But this is really all you can do here, so just blast it or just run around in circles. That's it. I've completely blocked off all of Sasha's sensor outlets. I can't wait to tell him. Young man, I hope you have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun and useful. No, that once you lose control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh, so, uh... What would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a build-up of sensor energy within that would, uh, eventually... Run, Rasputin. Very fast. You are my own creation! I command you to stop! It's time to earn your merit badge. Okay, so before we start fighting Big Fat Boy over there, I got a few things to do. But I want to say that last quote from Nine. Run, Rasputin. Very fast. May be my favorite line from him. But back on to serious things. So you have Big Blob Baby Sensor Dude following you. And he definitely does need to work out a little bit. And as you see me running, well, not in this one, of course. Now watch his health. Give you an example of what's going on here. There you go. You see, you can't really damage him. He's got unlimited health, if you will. All these sensor blocks that you see, like this one right here, will constantly spawn little sensors that will constantly heal him. So there's not a lot you can do right now. But I'm also looking for the last vault. The last vault is in this zone. Unless I'm going completely mad and it's a very strong possibility I am. Yeah, you got it, Rasputin. But we did him in. But I'll find the, the vault later. Let's just do away with this guy. But once you destroy all the sensor outlets, he'll start throwing sensor balls at you. They can be a little dangerous, but the trick is to get a target on him. If you can get a target on him, you can dodge him easily. 
as Nine is about to tell you. Excellent. You've shut down the valve so he cannot be rejuvenated. Now destroy him. Or not. <laughs> I thought he gave us a tip. But the biggest trick, if you want to get rid of a lot of them at once, just do a ground pound. All right, hold on. I'm trying to get a target on him. I can't seem to get a target. He becomes infinitely easier otherwise. There we go. That was weird. It wasn't letting me do it before. But once you got him targeted, there is not a lot he can do. Literally. He doesn't move fast enough and none of his attacks are fast enough to catch you. Don't pay no mind to that. I just dodged into it instead of away from it. Don't judge me, guys. And baby sensor fat guy down. So is this where I get a speech and learn another lesson? No. Here's your merit badge. Let us never speak of this again. Just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. We're not ready yet. We we are now able to blow things up with our mind in real world, as you see there. So much good explosions. And it works the same in here as it does outside. We can collect rage energy, if we will, and to keep shooting. So, but... As you saw, and as you see a little Ford Cruller there, we have a new rank, or a new ability for our new rank. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Cruller? Let's go to my sanctuary. Let's go to Ford's, I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble Psycho Master. And get us one of the most useful skills that you can get. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Telekinesis. Telekinesis, we can use our minds to grasp an object and then throw it. Like magic. Go ahead, try it yourself. So, literally, you just use your ability, you get your little hand, kind of like the bear was doing. Now, when you've chosen your... Oh, good throw. Now, let's see if you can make it through the hoop. You sound like my dad. Hey, I've been thinking about that. Why'd that guy hate psychics so much? What do we ever do to him? Well... Psychics killed his whole family, cursed them and all their descendants to die in water. Whoa. Yeah. Talk about baggage. Tell me about it. And the weird thing is, I'm pretty sure he's actually psychic himself. Ha! Huh. Cuckoo! Well, you can work on him when you get home, for now. Oops. Yep, so the trick is just to get it through the hole. Careful now. As I said, the trick is to get it through the hole. 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 Come on. Hole. But yeah, you can pretty much guide it wherever you want. Can't get right. a good huh. grip. The center. Wait. Can't get a good can't get a good can't get a good grip. Through the huh. Can't get a good See, this is what you get for playing around with telekinesis. Hmm. Can't break it. Shut up, dude. Why can't I grip this? Uh, I think I was playing around too long. I think I glitched the game. All right, guys, I'm gonna be right back after I restarted the game, so I don't glitch it. And back. Let's not glitch it this time. Let's just throw it through the hole. There we go. Oh, great shot! 
Let's say you do that again. Now this is kind of cool. When you throw it this time, no matter how many times you do it, trash can. it will always do this. Every time. Balance. Bingo. Okay, last one. You know, being in the circus kind of gives you that magical True. ability. Now, let me show you something. Pick that trash can up and aim your toss at the side of the caravan. All right. Much obliged. We don't like the this caravan. Kablooey! Throwing something against a wall is a little more destructive than tossing it around on the ground, isn't it? Oh no, another one of my senses. Now how'd that get in here? Looks like we're in luck. He doesn't see you yet. Why don't you smash him on the head with that handy trash can? Come on! Use telekinesis to pick up the trash can and throw it at that sensor. Ooh, I can hit something with it? I, I'm okay with this. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he'll follow you around, but quote-unquote, he never notices you. But he's literally... This is one of the few times you can get a close look at him. Looks like he's doing accounting, to be honest. Sorry. If you're going to throw something, make sure you're not standing in front of it. Looks like the trash took him out. Next lesson... We'll work on your snappy one-liners. There we go. Now we have telekinesis and pyrokinesis. We can light stuff on fire while holding it in the air with our minds. But guys, next episode, we're going to head on in back into our mind to defeat the big, weird monster-looking thing. But until then, safe travels, Psychedets.